Jesus Christ, all these freaking... Dude, what are you? You are paranoid, man. You could have locked it back while I was in here. Alrighty, guys. See you later. <laughs> no, never find me. Okay. I think I heard something. Hold up, hold up. Get down. Oh, look at you, compact. Okay, well, never mind. I thought you was unarmed. Whoa, okay. Crap. Foulmore. I said Foulmore. Thalmore. Ah, oh, motherfucker. You and your little fancy sword. Say where his warden can block my shouts. That's crazy. I didn't know Wardens was that strong. Not strong enough against this sword. Yeah, buddy. What happened? Didn't block you that time. Ah, Potion of Healer. Sorry if you couldn't see that battle. It was quite dark. But yeah, I'm kind of tripping. I didn't know, you know, that Warden or whatever could block your... Your shouts, your foos roll da or whatever. Okay, I leveled up. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to work on my my majaka. Sweet. And let's upgrade. Who will be our lucky winner today? Come on down. Uh, one hand. One hand weapons do 40% more damage. Derp derp. Sneaking, sneak, sneak, sneak. Yes. Jesus Christ, I need good sneak. Cool. Should have did that a long time ago. Where are we? Is this the same exit that I came out of? I don't remember a, a shelf and a table with, actually a table with some good stuff on it. <laughs> uh, I don't remember all this. It's a trap. I can't get the gold, whatever. Oh, there's more gold in here. Studded armor, nah. Take that iron ingot. Uh, I really don't have time to be picking locks. Plus, I only got four left. I'm not going to break it. I swear I don't remember coming this way. This has to be like a different route. Ooh. Well, either way, I'm getting some good stuff. I wish I had like something where I could light up the darkness, but I don't have any skills for that yet. Still with me, Esburn? Okay. All right. Looks like we're almost home free. Okay. I don't think that's a good way to do a campfire. Campfires are supposed to be outdoors. I never realized that. Because, you know, you can, like, you know, burn the place down. <laughs> okay, we're home free. Come on, let's burn. Do the keep. So, yeah, let's burn. These are my new friends. We're not new friends. We've been we've been pals for years. Isn't that right, buddy? Come back later, and I may have some work for you. See, see, he's gonna have some work for me later. Yep, yep. These are my pals. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need people like you in our outfit. I know, right? I know. He's he's talking to you, Esburn. You know, we we need more new people like you, man. Right? We need experienced thieves, such as myself. 
Come on, let's get out of here. Come on, come on. I don't want nobody else asking you questions. Oh, shit. Whoa. Surprise, surprise, huh? Peekaboo, buddy. I see you. I see what you did there. Too bad it failed. Wow. Look at that. That's crazy. He can block my shout. That must be a strong warden. What is she still doing? Oh, is that yours, Esbar? Oh. I thought that was the enemies. What's this? Ah, I knew it. I knew I was going to get points for that. I could have swore I thought that was a Thalmors. She's so pretty. Okay. That took me by surprise. As soon as the door is open, it's like, ha ha, I found you. And I died. Something about that axe. That axe. This just bothers me. You know what? Ah, the temptations. Okay. Alright. Okay. I guess this is safe then. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, Esburn, watch out for that. That's gonna hurt. Don't step on that. Oh, good boy. Oh yeah, watch out for these bear traps. In fact, let me, you know, wouldn't it just make sense to just turn them off? There you go. Nice and safe for you. Plus you're not a bear, so there's no need for you to be trapped on it. Okay, which way did I come out of? I remember killing him. Uh, I'm lost. Oh, we're supposed to go up. Ah, okay. All right. So which way is up? Uh, derp. Esburn, why did you have to go into a place like this? Like, really? Okay, let's see if I can find my way up. Uh, obviously, that's an expert lock, and I don't think we're supposed to go that way. Esburn, where'd you go? Esburn. What are you doing? Taking a piss? Come on, we gotta get out of here. Okay, Esbar, help me out here, man. Where the hell are we going? Are we going outside? We're going to Riften. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm going back the way that I was originally going. Because that also takes me to Riften. Don't step on that. Good boy. Okay. I'm going back the original way that I came. Because that takes me to Riften. I don't give a crap about no freaking compass. Oh, the thing is locked. Alright. Okay. I can't promise you that I'll break these locks, but alright. Uh, eh. Okay, we got a crack. Let's go real slow. Because if I break my lock, pick then I'm going to be a sad panda. Ah, fuck! <laughs> okay. They didn't even give me a chance to, like, let go. It just broke in half. Like, what is these things made out of? Freaking dust? See? Ah, okay. Go up just a little bit. See if that works. Come on. There we go. Easy as pie. Esburn, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is the same. What the fuck? <laughs> are you kidding me? We're in a complete circle. Let's go this way.
I feel so derp right now. I could have went there this whole time. Hey, Delphine. Delphine. <laughs> Why, it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esbern. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on, I have a place we can talk. Orgnar, hold down the bar for a minute, will you? Yeah, sure. You, this you, way. You won't believe what she has. Ah, uh, you think this is a small little room, huh? Huh? No. No. It's actually a bigger room downstairs. Yeah, you like that? Better than your little crappy cave, huh, Esburn? Yeah, maybe you should have thought about that. Instead of being in the dark, drinking sewage water. I'm not gonna hate, I'm not gonna hate. Move up, old man. Now then, I assume you know about... Oh yes, Dragon Ball, indeed, yes. Oh, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose, so we must locate. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esbern, what? Give me just a moment. Oh. Ah, here it is. Come, let me show you. You see, right here, Sky Haven Temple. Constructed around one of the main Akaviri military camps in the Reach during their conquest of Skyrim. Do you know what he's talking about? No. Shh. Don't this shush is me. where they built Aldrin's Hall to sit down and stone all their accumulated dragon lore. A hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy in the event. Despite the far reaching fame of Aldrin's Wall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world. Its location was lost. Esbern, what are you getting at? You mean, you don't mean to say you haven't heard of Alduin's Wall? Either of you? No. Let's pretend we haven't. What's Alduin's Wall and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Alduin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all they knew of Alduin and his return. Part history, part prophecy. His location has been lost for centuries, but I have found it again. Not lost, you see, just forgotten. The Blades archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scraps. Okay. So you think that Alduin's wall will tell us how to defeat Alduin? Well, yes. But there's no guarantee, of course. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. I knew you'd have something for us, Esbern. I know the area of the Reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Carthspire in the Carth River Canyon. We can meet you there or all travel together. Your call. Okay, I'll meet you later. Your call. Might be safer to travel separately, attract less attention that way. Don't worry, I'll get Esbern there in one piece. We'll wait for you near Carthspire. Good luck. Orgnar, this is it. The inn is yours. I'm probably never coming back here. Well now, that's something to think about. Take care of yourself, Orgnar. Goodbye. Yeah, sure. You too, Delphine. You'll be safe. It's okay, Orgnar. Love is lost again. Well, bye. Hello, guys. I am back. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. Oh, look at you, big guy. I just came here to tell you that I finished the mission. Where's Brynjolf? You'd better have coin to pay for your drinks. There's no handouts here. You guys are uptight. Look at you, sitting like a king. Yo, back against the wall. Judging from how well you've handled those shopkeepers, I'd say you've done more than simply prove yourself. We need hey, people hey, like hey, you. Hey, hey, what, what else can I do around here? That's the spirit. Larceny's in your blood. The telltale sign of a practice thief. I think you'll do more than just fit in around here. 
Okay, uh, before we go, I have to ask. What's on your mind? Word is your outfit isn't doing so well, is that true? We've run into a rough patch lately, but it's nothing to be concerned about. Tell you what, you keep making us coin, and I'll worry about everything else. Fair enough? Okay. Now, if there are no more questions, how about following me and I'll show you what we're all about? I thought this was what you're all about. You mean there's, I think you better there's more? First, we can talk later. I don't trust this guy. It's like he's taking me in his van for candy. Where are we going, Brynjolf? And why is your name spelled Brynjolf? Oh, what is with these closets and secret entrances? Dude, I need to put one in my house, man. Kind of like Heavy Rain, if you guys played that for PS3. You, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, look at here. We got another room. The cistern. Okay, so I take it there's more to it than this, huh? Okay, this place is pretty big. You guys have a full operation down here. You're like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for thieves. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Except there's no Argonians here. Look at this guy. Come, my child. Mercer, this is the one I was talking about. Our new recruit. Hi. This better not be another waste of the guild's resources, Brynjolf. Hi. Before we continue, I want to make one thing perfectly clear. I said hi. If you play by the rules, you walk away rich. You break the rules and you lose your share. No debates, no discussions. We do what we say, when we say. Do I make myself clear? Listen, man, you're just not going to sit here and talk to me about that. And the rules do with these. What's the point of rules? I'll let that comment go because you're new here. Ask things out of turn again and we have a problem. Now, are we clear on all of this? <sighs> yes, ma'am. Good. Then I think it's time we put your expertise to the test. Wait a moment. You're not talking about Golden Glow, are you? Even our little Vex couldn't get in. What? You claim this recruit possesses an aptitude for our line of work. So let him prove it. Wait, what, what? Golden Glow Estate is critically important to one of our largest clients. However, the owner has suddenly decided to take matters into his own hands and shut us out. He needs to be taught a lesson. Wait, what, what's going on Brynjolf here? will provide you with the details. Mercer, aren't you forgetting something? Hmm? Oh, yes. I'm confused. Since Brynjolf assures me you'll be nothing but a benefit to us, then you're in. Welcome to the Thieves' Guild. Welcome to the family, lad. I'm expecting you to make us a lot of coin. So don't disappoint me. So, how do I get my cut into the, you know, little cheese there? Simple. Do as you're told and keep your blade clean. We can't turn a profit by killing. You should talk with Delvin, Mallory, and Vex. They know their way around this place, and they'll be able to kick some extra jobs your way. Oh, and talk to Tonelia in the flagon. She'll set you up with your new armor. Sweet. Okay, so what is this about this Golden Glow? Golden Glow Estate is a bee farm. They raise the wretched little things for honey. It's owned by some smart-mouthed wood elf named Arangoth. We need you to teach him a lesson by burning down three of the estate's hives and clearing out the safe in the main house. Jesus Christ, dude, what's the catch to this? The catch is that you can't burn the whole place to the ground. That important client Mercer mentioned would be furious if you did. Okay, so what's important about these clients? The guild depends on an arrangement of influential people to keep things running smoothly. Without them at our backs, we'd be in serious trouble. So what should I do about Arangoth? Maven prefers that Arangoth remains alive, but if he tries to stop you from getting the job done, kill him. The guild has a lot riding on this. Don't make me look foolish by mucking it up. You? What about me? Shit. 
You watch yourself on that island. Those mercenaries don't take prisoners. Yeah, I kind of figure. Who's the people that go here? I could have swore I saw somebody just a minute ago. Somebody look real familiar around here. Uh, it's gonna kill me thinking about it. Huh. You! Oh, you asshole! Let's talk for a moment. You're the one that was like bribing that dude out of his money at the horse stables. You're in the Thieves Guild? What's your real name? Look, I don't really know you. I don't even really know anyone here. Why do you care anyway? It's not like we're family. This is a business. Something had to make you this angry. What, why are you so mad? Look, you want to know about me? All right, I'll tell you. I'll tell you about the time I was a young girl, barely out of her teens, living on a pig farm in the middle of nowhere. Didn't have a coin to spend between our entire family. Ate the same slop we fed our livestock. That sounds pretty bad. Oh, wait. It gets much better. How about the fact that our farm was attacked by bandits, and that they killed my entire family, who didn't even brandish a weapon against them? Here's the best part. They took me as a prize and violated me for a fortnight. Tossed me from bandit to bandit like... like... Uh, n never mind. I'll, you don't have to say anything else. It's fine. I had to tell someone, I suppose. Carrying around a weight like that, it hurts after a while. Cuts you inside like a dagger to the heart. So, how did you escape? Over time, I managed to gain their confidence. Then one night, I grabbed a knife, waited until they fell asleep, and cut their throats. I never returned to that pig farm, you know. There's nothing for me there. So that's my sad story. What do you think? Uh, I'm sorry to hear all that, but you still haven't told me your name. Maybe one day. Just not today. Okay. Maybe I'll see you around the guild. Okay, I don't have a grudge against her anymore. Oh, you made it. Good to see you, my friend. I'll never forget how you saved my life from those Thalmor maniacs. I did? Good to see you again, friend. Wait, who are you? Oh, are you the dude that was being interrogated? Hmm. Okay, I couldn't recognize you, know, with that hood on and everything. You know, I can't really see your face, Batman. Alright, well, let's go do this mission.